Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and the question was asked of me, Larry, could you make a tutorial where you explain how you use the built-in editor thingamabob um, attached to the AMD's Raptor, which is what AMD gives you as a free video recording and streaming like tool for when you want to go out and make like Let's Plays and stream to Twitch or whatever other service. Actually, I think it's still only uh, streams to Twitch. But once you've captured something inside of AMD Gaming Evolved slash Raptor, a lot of people would like to share these to plays.tv so that they can show their friends, they can show the great wide world their little highlight clips. And that's really what the built in editor for Raptor is for. It's just for sharing clips, very small clips, to plays.tv. And I think last time I looked, most of the clips on there were under a minute, like almost all of them. But I think I saw like a few of them over five minutes. But that's really all that this tool is meant for. So if you need to use this tool to edit like a full scale video, you're going to want to use something like Windows Movie Maker. It's not world class editing software by any means, but in a pinch, it'll get the job done while you look for something else. So to access the plays.tv editor, you should a record something. And when you're done, this window should pop up. But for whatever reason, you can't access your list of videos from this window. You just want to click this button here at the bottom next to your friends list called plays.tv gallery. It's underneath all the other settings across from the help button. And you just click on that. And here is your list of all the videos that you've recorded with the service. And I've got a couple here from my other tutorials, like I recorded Grav Sometimes. a couple of times. Nothing super fancy. So I could just click on one of these and I could immediately share it to plays.tv. But this is three minutes and most clips are under like 30, 40 seconds. So I'm going to want to edit that. So I'm going to click on this button here called edit clip and it'll open up this window that kind of looks a lot like a video editor that's been really dumbed down. It's not the most advanced thing in the world by any means. Um, really, all it's meant for is using this window down here with a little play icon inside of little brackets to select a clip and just kind of shorten it however you want in order to then share it to plays.tv. So this main play button plays this top timeline. And that's kind of like a preview timeline if you have a really long clip over several minutes. But mine's only like three minutes long, so these both mirror each other. And then this other sort of play button in a bracket is supposed to preview just the one down here in the selected clip that you want to mess around with. Otherwise, you've got this little thing that kind of looks like a cell phone bar chart, and this is in order to adjust the volume for your clip before it goes on to plays.tv, because maybe it's kind of loud, you didn't really pay attention to your sound settings, or you use window sound controls, to control the level of sound, but the video recorded really loudly. You can adjust that. Let's just click play and go back to the beginning. I can like click the little individual bars to knock the sound down a peg. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but under halfway pretty much mutes it. So just keep that in mind. This is a very heavy handed sound control tool. And then that's really the only kind of tools that you get. You can enlarge this to preview your video clip in widescreen in case you're looking for minute details of the cool thing that you did. I don't know. I don't know what the young people are doing these days with their, their crazy across the map knife kills and rocket boots and Batman. And anyway, so what this whole tool is meant for is you click this big yellow button called select a clip, and then you're going to drag this yellow box around through your timeline and you're going to select the section that you want to keep. And I'm going to click keep just the end where I name my character Chupacabra. And then like a little bit further in here, I like name my little weird pet like Baz or something. 
Uh, Dez. Dez, that's what I did. So that's the only thing I feel like keeping. For no particular reason, really. Um, so now, anything that's selected by that little yellow preview bar, and you can preview just that chunk by clicking this button here, and it will only play what's ever inside of the little yellow box. Once I've got that selected, wherever in the timeline, and you can you can grab this and search around inside your video for wherever it, wherever like the moment is that you want to share. Once you've got that selected by dragging this yellow box, then you need to add a description, and I'll name mine my cool Dragomon character and also bears and Larry the Chupacabra is a super sweet YouTuber. And then I'll add some tags. Uh, let, let's just put like Dragomon, come on keyboard, stop being a pest. Dragomon Hunter, which is actually a recommended tag. Um, character creation. And then we'll also put like, I don't know, Larry Chupacabra, because you gotta keep up brand appearance on the internet. And now that I've got it tagged in the description, I can share it straight to plays.tv. And if you log in through the interface to like Facebook or Twitter, it'll also get automatically shared to your friends. And. <coughs> hmm. And that's all there really is to it. I mean. This isn't really an editor. It says edit, but that's not really what this is doing. It's just, think of this more as a clip selector tool. That's all this really is. For anything more advanced, you'll need to just find where your videos are saved on your hard drive and then throw them into, um, personally, I use Premiere Pro. It's a professional grade editing program, but it can be expensive for some folks. I use it and a bunch of the other Adobe stuff for work. So that's just what I do. Um, you can use Windows Movie Maker. It sounds cheesy, but it's actually not bad. It doesn't let you do, like, cool fancy effects. It doesn't let you, like, animate stuff on top of other stuff. It doesn't let you, like, remove weird noises or add cool color effects or make a cool dubstep, like, clip out of your footage. But in a pinch, when you don't have anything else available, it's free. It comes from, from with Windows, not from Windows. And it'll do the job. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that helped you guys and gals out there, and also the person who requested it. And I will catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and maybe check out my gaming channel, because I do some pretty sweet stuff over there. Come on, what are you waiting for? Do the thing. Also click the like button, because that helps me out a ton. Uh, toodles, everybody.